Good evening and salutations, my TH fans. You know, up until today, it made me wonder, why does Cyrus, out of nowhere, just bout religion? You know? Like, I've seen people do that. You know, like, they go to jail, they almost had a, you know, they have, like, a near-death experience, and they decide to just get religious, right? But I feel like now I understand why he's so religious. Why why is he doing this whole Bible quotes and, and, and this, that, and the third about religion? And when you watch today's episode and you see the way that he's talking to his quote-unquote flock, right? Maybe I feel like this is a way for him to sit there and, I don't know, get people to sit there and follow him, you know? Get people to sit there and follow him. Because when he was sitting there talking to the warden, and, you know, they were sitting there doing this whole double talk thing, I feel like the warden's in on whatever Cyrus is, it, you know, has going. She talks about how she's impressed and everything, and it just made me think, like, you know, he's using religion to get these people to follow him and then do whatever it is, you know, that, um, you know, he wants them to do. So I found that, I found that very, I was like, up until today, I was like, I wonder why did he just decided to go the religious route? And it hit me. Now, this whole Metro Court, everything is just kind of like, everyone's everywhere. You got Nina, you got Wiley, you got Willow, you got Sunny, you got Christina, you know, they're all just kind of hanging out, getting along for the most part. You know, Christina Smith, they're telling Sunny about, you know, the, um, the foundation and her board and everything. You got <clears throat> you got Michael and Nina seeing like you know that they're willing to give Nina more of a chance, even letting her spend time with Wiley and stuff. So everything all is is fine and dandy up until a point, right? Now Carly, you know she's at the diner and after talking to Jocelyn because you know Jocelyn was meant there being all pissy about. You know, Dex working and working for Sonny and this, that, and the third. And Carly's like, yo, listen, you can't sit there and change who Dex is. You knew the score when you got together with him, so you can't sit there and change the rules now. But, you know, she's like, all right, you know, whatever, fine. She takes it whatever way that she usually takes things, and she decides to go to the concert by herself. Now, some random guy comes in and tells Carly you know, your ex-husband, you know, he's in the world for hurt. You know, he's he, he's going to be in trouble soon. And he tells her that, you know, at some point, you know, he, he saw like the feds or whatever by the duck, so, you know, it ain't going to be good. Now, Carly's sister tries to tell Sonny, but Sonny doesn't pick up. So she calls Dex and is like, yo, listen, they're going to be a raid. You need to sit and get out now. So Dex is able to sit there and get out the situation. Now, the people that he's with, you know, they're all just kind of standing around waiting for the shipment and stuff. They all get caught. I don't know why Dex decided to sit there and peek his head out to make sure, oh, okay, there's one, two, three. Like, what was you doing? You already saw that the feds was already there to sit there and round these people up. And you decided to do one little peek before you just mosey on down wherever where you're going to go. So it looks like Dex got free. The rest of them is, well, <laughs> you know. Now, while Sonny's not there, hanging out with Christina and stuff, the feds just march on up in there and arrest Sonny in front of Christina, Michael, everyone. Even Olivia and Ned just they're looking at this like, yo, it ain't good. Saying that he violated some sort of, um, I don't know, National Security Act or something like that. So... Yeah, and I saw the previews, and it looked like Carly was sitting there talking to Michael, like, yeah, listen, we got to sit there and have a talk. Turn Sonny into the feds. Now, I don't think that Sonny, I don't think that Michael turned Sonny in, and I don't think that um, Jocelyn did it either. So I'm just wondering, turn him into the feds, you know? Now, Brooklyn, for an entire hour, is not there listing all the different reasons why, you know, she shouldn't move in with, with um, you know, with Chase. And this whole talk is just 
motivated out of fear. She is literally operating out of fear throughout this entire episode. And then towards the end when she starts coughing. And then she's like, all right, fine, we'll move in. Now, I feel like the coughing is a lot more. Like, I, I feel like there, there's more to it than her just randomly coughing. I could be wrong. Maybe if it was just a way for Chase to sit there and, I don't know, try to interrupt Sonny when he was talking to, you know, I mean, um, interrupt Carly when she was first trying to call Sonny. But I feel like there's more to it. You got Olivia trying to walk Ned through memory lane, sit there, you know, he's by the poolside or whatever. It's like, hey, you know, why don't we sit there and reenact this? Like, your family needs you, your daughter needs you, Leo needs you. The family needs you, so we need we need the real net to sit there and come back. And you know, <clears throat> Ned, he's like, you know, what? let's not do it. You've been nice to me and kind to me and stuff like that, so I'd do it. So he starts trying to walk through, you know, like trying to retrace the steps. And of course, Nina comes in there. Nina sees situations. So now she's on Petra. You can just sit there and see the bullets of sweat just coming down her forehead, like. Man, I hope he doesn't remember. I hope he does not remember. And she leaves and she turns back and she looks. And throughout the entire time, she's hanging out with Wiley and she's in, you know, the Metro Court or whatever. She's sitting there thinking, you know, back when that they remember. So now she's just like, she's on this, she's on the clock at this point. You know, it's TikTok for her. And the minute that he remembers, it's a wrap for all that. You know, all the stuff she was meant to be doing today with Wiley and Willow and stuff like that, all that's just going to, just like that. So, it's only a matter of time, but um, she must enjoy what she can. Now, of course, she should have listened to Ava and just told the truth and just let the chips fall they may, and maybe she wouldn't be in this position where she's at right now. But, um, yeah, I guess time will tell with that one. Now, the one thing that was really interesting about the Charlotte and Valentine scene is that, you know, this is the first time we really heard that Charlotte has just been struggling, just having problems or whatever, you know, moving from place to place to place, not really sitting there spending time with her dad, you know, when Valentine was like, hey, you know, you know, Maxie and Maxie, whatever, they're going to be moving into your mom's old place. And she's like, hey, you know, whatever. I mean, you're already, you know, it's already done. So I don't even understand what's the point of you telling me. This is the first time we really get to sit there and see how much she's struggling, you know, with just missing her dad and stuff. And, you know, Valentine's like, yeah, listen, let me just wrap this last little business up and then we'll sit there and, you know, we'll be together. Where? Who knows? But at least they'll sit there and be together. I'm like, where are they going to be together? Where are they actually going to be? I guess they can always go back to Winnemere. You know, once Ava sells it. Now, after, you know, with Maxie, Maxie's snitch it telling the kids, and, you know, James is excited. Georgie has some issues, you know, because she snitch it, take my Lulu and stuff, and they talked about it. They worked it out to their little <clears throat> full house moment and everything. So they had that done. Nothing else really came of it. I'm not going to lie. I thought. Because when she first came, you know, when Georgie first came in that house, I thought she was gonna, just going to be snitching just being difficult, right? Well, at least this time there was an actual reason for it. So I, I give him props because it wasn't just like Georgie would just sit there just misbehaving just for the hell of it. I guess we're going to sit there and see if, you know, her bigger house is, you know, is going to fix her children's behavior problems. Now, how she's going to pay for that place is, well, kind of up in the air. You know, depending on if um, deception is going to survive or not. I know she's getting a family discount, but, you know, saying, especially if, if Lucy doesn't take that deal, they're all going to be on, they're all going to be on the streets. So, you got to find some sort of way to sit there and convince Lucy, like, yo, listen, we, we got to do what we got to do. Especially since she just moved into that place. Yeah, she didn't move into a bigger, more fancier, whatever. But, you know, bills still got to be paid. Just saying. I have a feeling, starting from today to Tuesday, because I don't think it's going to be an episode on Monday, that it's actually now going to start to get really good. 
the soda previews, you got Nicholas with, with Austin, I think. And I said this during my live stream, and I might have said this yesterday, that Nicholas is now working with Mason and Austin to get revenge on Ava, I'm assuming, because I'm like, well, you know, she did something and try to kill you. So, I mean, payback at this point is is, is going to want to pass. But the people that's not there wondering, no, I don't think that he has, you know, amnesia or whatever. I think he is full faculties. He's not brainwashed or anything like that. He just wants, he just wants revenge on Abel. I know Abel is not to talk about that recording or whatever, but all right, good luck with that. Also, in the previews. You know, um, Cyrus is sitting there telling Drew, like, "Yo, listen, you don't got no more, pre you don't got no, no, um, no more protection now. So it's either to sit there, and hang out with my flock, or walk on the no man's land. Good luck. I'm not gonna lie, I can't really think of anything else that wound up happening. But as I always sit there and say, if I missed anything, come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about water soaps, wine art." Um, B and B days and GH. With that being said, I'm good to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.